Hi, hello everyone. This is Ahmed Dan. Today, I'll talk about how to handle jet lag. If you stay until the end of the video, then I'll give you my own personal tip, which I always follow and it always works for me. So what is jet lag? Jet lag is the kind of zombie feeling which makes you like, you know, sluggish, tired, sleepy, uh, even depressed uh, after shifting your time zone. So uh, in simple words, this is uh, due to the arcadian uh, cycle or your sleep cycle changes due to time zone shifting so your internal body clock doesn't recognize or sync with the external clock at your destination so that what messes up your sleep now the first tip i have here and uh, probably this is the most difficult tip to do is that if you, if it's possible uh, try to sleep uh, matching your destination time zone before one to two weeks your trip starts so this might be a little difficult to do if you have a you know fixed work or if you wake up and sleep go to sleep at the same time but if it's possible then if you can do that uh, you know uh, matching the destination clock uh, before one to two uh, weeks then it's going to be a lot easier for you to uh, avoid or handle uh, jet lag when you're at the destination now the next tip i have is that uh, drink lots of fluids or water uh, during the flight and before the flight this might sound a little bit weird because you don't want to drink a lot of water during the flight because you have to go to the washroom a lot. But even if that's the case, still it's better to drink lots of water so you don't get dehydrated. And this is due to the fact that when you are hydrated, your body can much better handle a jet lag when you arrive at the destination. Now, when you are at the destination, uh, try to do some light exercise, even if it's like, you know, a walk or jogging around the hotel or around the block that will help your body to deal with the jet lag much better and you'll be able to sleep faster so that's another thing and then another tip is that uh, if possible try to get some sunlight at your destination that way it gives uh, your body a message or signal that you know what time or what type of uh, cycle the body should follow so try to get some like you know sunlight uh, and uh, tr try to soak in the environment instead of staying inside the hotel all the time and then uh, the next tip is that which is my favorite tip and this is always i do now when you're at the destination don't try to take a nap or like you know just try to take a little bit sleep before the night or actual sleeping time so let's say uh, this uh, what i do let's say I'm, i reached uh, philippines or bangladesh or any country which is like totally uh, opposite my time zone then and usually it happened to me that my all my flights reaching the destination early morning or afternoon so naturally you just want to go to bed and sleep but i don't do that uh, even after not sleeping the whole flight which could be like 24 hour 36 hour i just wait until the end of the night or until the evening and then when it's like you know time to sleep naturally for example 10 or 11 o'clock at that time i go to bed to catch the sleep cycle of the destination country so that way my body just takes one day to adjust to the time shifting or time zone shifting and it's very easy to do that so that's my uh, best tip and this is what i do all the time uh, and although this is difficult not to sleep right away you just want to like you know go to bed or take a nap but if you do that it's going to ruin your arcadian cycle or it's going to give your body a wrong signal and it's going to, uh, to be much difficult to uh, deal with the new time zone so for the next travel tips and tricks video i'm going to put a link on the screen and i'll see in the next video thank you for watching